Hi guys, welcome to SQL Server Reporting Services Tutorial Series. In my last video, I explained you how to create a stepped drill down report with uh, totals and grand total. Yeah, you can see here, this is the last report which I had made. And in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a matrix report. Okay. In order to create a matrix report, you need to go to your solution explorer and then right click on reports click on add and then click on new item okay here there is a report section just click on it and give a name to a report like matrix oh, sorry matrix report enter okay let us just increase the size and now we need to make our connection or we have to sorry here uh, this one is okay okay now we need to create a data source and data sets okay. to create a data source just right click on the data source folder and then add data source okay uh, as you know i have created a shared data source connection okay which i am using here shared data source and matrix report okay i know at this time you are very much comfortable with this embedded connection what is embedded connection and what is shared data connections uh, which i have explained in my last in my previous tutorials okay i'm gonna use my shared data source connection and i'm gonna click okay okay let's add our data sets data set matrix matrix report okay here i don't have any shared data set connection in my project so for this i'm i'm gonna use embedded one okay here we need to select our data source and just click on query designer just click on here or if you right click also you will get an option like add table and if you don't want to do like that here there is an icon by which you can select your tables okay i'm gonna choose categories customers order details orders and products okay so now i have added my tables so let us select the appropriate fields for our report so that is a category name, company name, um, okay, then it press quantity and order date and then product name, okay. This much fields are enough for our matrix report. Now then click on okay and then click okay. Okay, now we have created our uh, data, data source connection and we have added um, columns to our data sets. Okay, now just right click on on this report section and then go to insert and click report sorry uh, this time we need to use matrix report okay. here you have a matrix um, section just click on the matrix okay here if you see um, matrix is a bit different from the normal table normal in the in normal table it was asking us to just uh, um, select let me do that okay this is this is entirely different from matrix one here there is a header and data part but in matrix you will have rows and columns okay let us just delete it and let us uh, set our data items or data sets i want to show my category name in a row and product name as a column okay now let us just increase the size you can see here if I preview you can see all the categories are displaying in rows and all the columns are displaying in columns let me just color it let me give some background color ok let us use some light blue and column as some light this one let us take this one 
okay now and uh, i haven't added any data to my report i want to uh, show the sum of my quantities okay to my data part if you see you will see the matrix report here see beverages uh, how any uh, any any seed syrup i don't have any any seed syrup for beverages for condiments i have any seed syrup as a quantity or uh, some quantity of 321 total 328 um items are there for condiments category similarly it is it has made a sum of quantity in each and every products which belongs to different categories okay this is how you can create a uh, matrix report okay let us go here if you want to add some a uh, total in row okay total let's give it some color <coughs> let it be this one okay if you see your total will display in rows see product wise total you will get Okay. If you want to display total by column wise, you just need to come here. Just click on this box. Right click on this box. Add total. After, okay. You will see the sum of uh, all the products. Now uh, let's just preview for that. To see that, we need to go to the end. See here. Total is displaying. Let's give it some color. It will be this one. Okay, if you see, uh, you can see here. Total is displaying. Okay, this is how you can create a matrix reports. It will uh, matrix is uh, somewhat dif uh, uh, different from a normal table. Uh, in matrix you will um, have a list of categories and uh, and and the products items in different in columns and rows will you will have uh, categories you can uh, change it also you can display um, uh, categories in columns and call and products in rows similarly um, whenever you come to a scenario where you or you want to display Uh, regions and countries you can display like that also you can display regions here and you can display countries which belongs to particular region like that scenarios you can create a matrix report okay, okay guys i hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching guys